Alright guys and welcome back to Hypersuit Tutorials. In today's tutorial we're going to be preventing the camera going through the walls and also we're going to be making the camera follow the character. So if we run and uh, move our camera quite fast it will catch up back to the player. So if you're not sure if you noticed that but if you noticed it zooms back onto the character. So if I run around for a bit see it kind of focuses back on that character. And also, we're going to be preventing the camera going through the walls. So if I go up to this wall and rotate my camera around, we're going to get the following effect. Didn't work as quite as good over there, but we can adjust the... There we go. So that's hitting the wall, and it's not letting the camera go through. That's what we're going to be covering today. It's quite easy, and let's get on with it. Right. For this tutorial, all you need to do is click on your free look cam, and go at the very bottom where it says extensions and add a Cinemachine Collider. Go to extensions again and add a Cinemachine Follow Zoom. Now let's prevent the camera from going through the wall. So let's set the variables. So Collide Against, we're going to say everything. Okay. Um, ignore tags, we want to ignore the player. We don't want our camera to be going through the player. The minimum distance I'm going to leave as 0 0.01. Avoid obstacles, we need ticked. Distance limit, I'm going to leave 0 for now, we can adjust that while we're in game. Um, camera radius, I'm going to set to 0. And I'm going to set this one to preserve camera height, like so. As for the maximum effort, I'm going to set this to 4 as it is. And damping, I'm not going to damp anything, it's up to you, I'll show you what that does live. And the optimal target distance will leave zero as well. Now for the camera follow, I'm going to set my damping, sorry, width a bit wider. So if I increase this, you'll see it go like that. That's looking a bit more nice and starts to give you that third person feel. For the damping, I'm going to put six... Uh, the minimum field of view, I'm going to put 31 or 30, let's just keep it round numbers. And for the field of view max, I'm going to keep it 60. Let's save this. Let's run our game and let's see what happens. Right, so if I move the camera, just even moving it, you see that the camera starts to pan into the character. I'm not sure if you can see that so well, but if you do it on your own end, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. And I quite like that effect. It stays up to date with the character and it follows it. Perfect. Even in the jump, it's doing a better job. Good. I'm just going to unclick from the character so I have something else selected so we can see it a bit more smoother. There we go. Now let's test the wall colliding. So I'm going around, there you go. As you can see, as soon as I get next to the wall, it kicks the camera inwards and keep him around the player. And that's how you keep the camera contained and close to the character. Now there are some wearables you can muck around with. There is damping, for example. You can have damping if you wish. I don't wanna. Personally, I don't like it, because that's why. It kind of makes it go through the walls, and I don't like that as much. But let's see if we can prevent that also. So, um, not really, from not what I can see. Yeah, don't like the damping as much. So maybe if I bring it down a bit, I'm gonna put this back to zero. Apologies. That's actually okay. We can leave the damping to 0 0.74 just to give it some kind of nice smooth effect as well. There we go. It's not too bad. Okay, let's try that on these walls. There we go. It's actually cool. It's looking quite smooth. I like that.
Oh, that's fantastic, that is. Um, there you have it, guys. That's how you prevent the camera from going through the walls. And that's how you make the camera also follow your character and give it a nice effect. This has been Hyperactive Tutorials. Thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you next time.